Day two at Euronaval 2022, today we're focusing on a wide range of systems, weapon systems, electronic warfare systems, and sonar systems. Nexter unveils a new variant of its naval 20mm remote weapon stations with the addition of two surface-to-surface -surface missiles by MBDA. To find out more, I am with Olivier Lequeux. Olivier, good morning. Thanks for welcoming us on your good morning, stand. Good morning, too. Uh, really, it's a, it's a pleasure for me to uh, emphasize some point of this, uh, of this solution because, in fact, we will have two main messages uh, with that. The first is the new strategy of Nexter because it's uh, based on the Narval, Narval is uh, really a reference in the world now uh, for a lot of countries. And, uh, and the second point is uh, an opportunity for us to show that we will continue to invest in the aim to develop new functions for the Narval system. Good example with the two uh, Acheron missiles, where it will be possible to install on all Narval available in the world now, like an option. Uh, the second point, uh, we will have the opportunity to discuss about a new SRP, uh, charge range pointer, to show that it will be possible to use another effector to designate an objective uh, that is here. And the last point will be about the new very small simulator, where it will be possible to train a crew very fast in all conditions on the boat, on the, on the airboard. The roadmap of Nexter for the future will be to unveil next year a new uh, ARC-20 for the naval application because we will continue in fact to use our experience for land forces to apply for naval forces. And that's why in two years we'll continue with the ARC-25 uh, because it's a, it's a, a new solution and uh, the objective of, of Nexter is really to have a, a lot of solution, a big catalog with a lot of options for the different customers in the world. Thank you, thank, you, thank you very much. BA Systems is uh, showcasing a new product and it's quite unique. It's an artillery shell uh, for anti-submarine warfare. It's still in conceptual stage. Uh, to learn more with us is, uh, is Steve. So Steve, what can you tell us about the, the Kingfisher? Uh, so the Kingfisher itself is a uh, standoff anti-submarine warfare effector. It's designed for disrupting the fire control solution generated by a submarine when it comes into the final stages of an engagement or for shepherding a submarine or for the destruction uh, of autonomous underwater vehicles. Uh, it's essentially a five inch uh, shell uh, with some specialist um, explosive techniques being employed so you get a semi-submersible explosion uh, to generate a depth charge like effect but with a much higher rate of fire so you're able to disrupt the uh, enemy submarine uh, and provide a layered anti-submarine warfare effect but using your organic weapon systems from a platform. MBDA, the missile powerhouse of Europe, is showcasing anti-ship missiles. Behind me is the Exocet MM40 Block 3C. This is the latest variant for the French Navy. I recently reported that the first delivery of these missiles will take place in December this year, so delivered to the French Navy. The missile is fitted with a new coherent seeker, so it's an advanced seeker uh, designed by Thales. It brings coherent waveform, meaning the missile can uh, identify specific ships uh, inside the formation of several ships and can even target a specific spot on a ship, such as the, the, the bridge of, or the, the CIC uh, area. Uh, next to it, and it's the first time that MBDA is showcasing it outside of Italy, is the Tiseo Mark II-E. That's the next generation, the future missile, on-ship missile for the Italian Navy. It's currently uh, in development. It has a range of uh, 350 kilometers. It comes with a ESA seeker, so it's the first anti-ship missile uh, with an ESA seeker, active electronically scan array. And it will be fitted on all surface combatants of the Italian Navy, uh, the frame, the PPA, as well as the future uh, destroyer, the DDX.
French company Lacroix unveiled a new decoy launcher at Euronaval 2022. To find out more, I am with François Moulinier, the CEO of the company. François, good morning. Thanks for welcoming us on your booth. Good afternoon, Xavier. I'm very pleased to uh, meeting you again at the occasion of uh, Euronaval. Euronaval. It's great to be here, really. Uh, so, François, please tell us uh, why did Lacroix decide to introduce uh, a new member in the Silena family of decoy launchers. Yes. So indeed, I think it's interesting to um, give some words, uh, first of all, about Silena. Silena is a system that we have uh, developed over the last uh, 10 years. Nowadays, it's a range of systems of uh, variants, uh, which are named lightweight Mark 1 and Mark 2. Through this range of uh, system, we provide uh, both uh, anti-missile or uh, anti-torpedo uh, capability. And in the anti-missile domain, up to now we were providing radio frequency and infrared decoys. We have some customers which have expressed over the last few years some requirement in terms of uh, capability of countering uh, laser-guided weapons. Further to uh, these requirements, we have uh, developed a module uh, which is named CMOSC and uh, which is an option to uh, the system Silena that uh, we propose to our customer. And CMOSC has this capability to create a screening and to provide uh, a rapid anti-laser capability to the Silena system, potentially. So it's an add-on, I would say, to uh, Silena equipment, which can be installed or not aboard of uh, the surface uh, vessels to protect, depending on the requirements of our customer, and I would say, depending on the missions of the, of the ship to protect. A concept uh, that uh, we're working on also would be to combine uh, the use of a screening module with the use of uh, uh, decoys, uh, so that uh, it might be uh, the possibility, it might procure the possibility to uh, decharacterize a little bit the platform in order to emphasize the effects of, uh, of the decoy. So for Lacroix, the future of electronic warfare uh, uh, will include anyway uh, what we call um, uh, soft kill countermeasure, passive uh, soft kill countermeasure, which are uh, provided by solutions like uh, Silena that we just talked about. Uh, additionally, uh, we consider that uh, the development of uh, an off-board uh, active decoy can be very complementary of what can be done up to date uh, with um, uh, passive uh, soft kill solutions like the off-board active decoys. All right, Francois, thank you very much. My pleasure, it was my pleasure and thank you for uh, uh, having uh, given to us the, the possibility to talk about our products. Thank you. We are now on the road in Schwarz booth, uh, a company from Germany who unveiled a new variant of their uh, EW uh, mast for surface vessels. Uh, so Andre, a previous variant of that EW mast uh, was known as Cora and was fitted on board the F-125 of the German Navy. Uh, what's new about that one and uh, what makes it unique? This system has the, the beauty of combining resin and sesame in one antenna but at the same time also secure communications, meaning that um, in the old days you might have had trouble with blankings, so you would not want to be communicating or emitting at the same time where you're listening because you would basically burn your systems. So here you have the 100% security that um, you will not have those interferences and you will obviously um, be much, much quicker. Why is this important? Because in the old days, ships where didn't have these huge requirements to communicate at all times now the necessity to receive information from other platforms or from home base and the necessity to share information gathered on board um, counteracts against the necessity of listening so imagine that your listening device can seamlessly work with your communication and get be switched on and off instantly without having anybody having to operate at all times. So it makes the life of the soldier on board, of the seafaring soldier in this case, much, much easier. And I believe it's one of the most modern and most reliable systems there is for this kind of uh, mission. All right, Andre, thank you very much. Very kind, thank you for your time. We are now on the Thales booth with Frank Bestar, ASW project director, to discuss uh, CAPTAS 4 
for the US Navy. Frank, good afternoon. Thanks for welcoming us. Good afternoon. So what can you tell us uh, about uh, CAPTAS-4 uh, in the context of uh, the US Navy? We are very proud that the uh, US Navy is uh, really interested by uh, our product, the CAPTAS-4, the, the major uh, variable depth sonar of uh, Thales, which is developed uh, since uh, 20 years uh, and uh, which is fitted uh, with uh, 20 uh, ships today, the Royal Navy frigate, the French and Italian frigates. So for, for the record, uh, the, the CAPTAS-4 uh, will be fitted on the, the Constellation class frigates, the, the future frigates of the US Navy currently being built uh, at uh, Fink and Thierry Marine in, uh, in Wisconsin. Uh, Frank, uh, Thales recently uh, purchased uh, AAC, Advanced Acoustic Concept, a US company that... Uh, can, can you tell us if uh, this is related to the, to the CAPTAS-4? Yes, it's linked. Uh, Thales is reinforced is a partnership with uh, AAC uh, to develop uh, the, the uh, uh, major facilities to, uh, uh, to, con to contract and to, uh, to work uh, uh, on the benefit of the US department. In your opinion, why is the, the VDS, uh, the CAPTAS-4, becoming a reference VDS for navies around the world? CAPTAS-4 demonstrates uh, the high level of performance and uh, he received the, the award uh, of the US Navy in 2021 through uh, uh, the award uh, delivered to the frigate, French frigate uh, by the, the US Navy in ISW operation. It's uh, very efficient at, in the arch condition at sea. Uh, we can uh, use it until 686 at high speed and of course with a, a very uh, wide range of detection. Very well, Frank. Thank you very much. Thank you.